What's up, P Nation? Today, we're in Hollywood. We are up in Adams super early. Today, we are going to do our Hollywood day, which we really wanted to do for a long time. We've come to LA so many times, and Hollywood's been a place that we love. Yeah, it brings back memories of every single trip we've ever taken here, all the shows we've been to, all of like the grungy interactions we've had. <laughs> This place is beautiful and grimy and cool and wonderful all at the same time. This is gonna be a great day. Alright, we had just made it to the farmer's market. We've been coming here for so long. I feel like like six or seven years and we always pass this Brazilian beef place that is way too expensive. And <laughs> what are you looking at? And we've never we've never gotten it because it's just like I, I don't want to spend that much money on beef, but I feel like today is the day. There's something about the palm trees and the weather and I just I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, we should definitely do that. Okay, I hope it's open. <laughs> Fingers crossed it's open. It's coronavirus and everything just opened up again, so we'll see. Oh my gosh, how cool. They still have the shopping carts. Look at this. This is just for the market. Okay, so it is coronavirus, so normally there's a bunch of seats here, but it is all empty. And the beef place is right down there. So let's go see if it's still there. <sighs> Unfortunately, it is closed because coronavirus. Most of these shops are closed, but some of them are open. It's really funny to relive these memories that we made here. Like, yeah. it just feels so 70s when they have all the tables out, you know? It's very cute. <laughs> and like, you just really feel like you've taken a step back in time. So we've been really craving Mediterranean food. I found this place, like, I knew it was gonna be open, and they have all this amazing food that makes me, like, wanna go back to Greece. So, we're getting some cool. Yum! Okay, so here's the deal. We cannot legally eat inside the farmer's market right now because of coronavirus, but they did just open back up to serve food. So we ordered a falafel plate from Moisha's restaurant, and Man, it's kind of eerie because like the last time we were here, everything was just so open and bustling and there are so many people in there. Just so, and it's like lunchtime right now. And it, yes, it's, it's midweek, but it is lunchtime. And so it's just very eerie to like have it be so empty in there, but it did just open back up. I think the last time we had falafel was actually in Poland, in Krakow. I mean, I try to make like falafel on my own, but it never turns out right. That place has been there for like 20 years. And we actually saw the owner, I don't know if you got a shot of him, but he was that old man that was standing there by the cashier. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Mm. That might be the best waffle I've ever had. Their hummus was supposed to be amazing. Is that not the best falafel you've had in a long time? <laughs> There's so many textures and flavors. I know. Why is the middle green? I think it's all the parsley. And so it's hummus and tabbouleh and falafel on a bed of lettuce and tomatoes. And we have warm pita. Give us a bag of pita. I feel like we're like the only people that were there all day. You know? Were there first customers? Maybe. I mean, she did like scrape it and then just put it straight in the tin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was like not inexpensive at all. This whole plate was $19 but you know what we gotta support small businesses where we can and this is enough food for two people like we're probably gonna split this I mean we only got one plate so we're definitely gonna split it mm. this is so good we're on Hollywood Boulevard we've been here plenty of times before it's so funny because this place is like Either there's a bunch of people here or there's no one here. There's no in between. It's like <laughs> you can't walk on the sidewalk or yeah. you can. Yeah. Okay, so now we're here at the Chinese theater. This place is super famous because well, like, when they have openings or when they used to have openings, they would have famous people like put their handprints or footprints in the concrete. You can put your feet where all these famous people have been and like your handprints. And of course you wouldn't do that now because of coronavirus, but it's really, really cool. And I've always been asking Zach, like, 
take me to a movie there. It's currently closed right now, but one day we will make it to a movie at the Chinese Theater. I just think this place is super cool. And it has a bunch of history, but like the aesthetic that it brings is like, it's really cool. Behind me is our favorite store to go to. Cause like Hollywood Boulevard is really like, you're here for that like cheap Hollywood experience. You know what I mean? Like it's not nice. It's kind of grungy. There's a lot of people you most of the time. And like going into a trinket store with like cheap little like knickknacks is just like the epitome of the experience. You know what I mean? Like you can get like a little like golden globe figurine with your name on it. And it's like super touristy. And that's just kind of what makes it great. And usually there's like a huge globe that's like has neon lights and everything, but it's shut down right now. So this is not like the true experience that you would normally get here, but it's kind of interesting since we've been here so many times to see it kind of like so dead. All right, so I think what's really cool is the Hollywood Walk of Fame actually has its own website and you can find a star that you're trying to look for and locate it on the map. So let's try, Leah really likes the carpenters. So let's see if they even have that on here. Boom, right there. What? So it gives you history and that's the address. Okay. So we're gonna try and look for this now and see if we can find it. Okay, one of the times we were here, David Bowie just died and there was like this huge shrine. Like it took up the entire section of the sidewalk. Just like wreaths, flowers. Like that's what the Hollywood Walk of Fame is all about. And normally with blank stars, they like have these people that are just like sitting here and they have all these letters and you can just spell out your name and then they'll put whatever you want, whether it's like a TV, a movie, or a radio, like whatever you want to be famous for. That's what all these blank stars are for. It's for you. Oh, and the Carpenters. That's me. And right next door, it's Zach. <laughs> so now we're heading up Mulholland Drive, which is a crazy road, and we've only ever driven it in a rental car that was an automatic. So we have my little car this time. A little stick shift. And it's a stick shift. And I'm not the best with mountains. So we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> oh. This this is just way like windier than people expect. And like you like we are going up. I'm just going back from second and third this whole time and then slowing down because it's a crazy turn and there's people behind me and there's these huge homes and I'm like trying to get like look at them but it's too much all at the same time. It's just a lot. This is a crazy road. The skimble is literally not working anymore because this road is so bumpy. <laughs> so I don't even know because we were like 360. What is going <laughs> on? Well, probably because we're like at an angle and it's trying not to be. People are just like driving crazy on this road and it is the most uneven road. Well, let me take a right. Ready, break. Skirt. There's a UPS truck up here. You could have totally done it. You see? I can. These homes up here are so cool. Like I actually feel like these are James Bond homes just because they're like on top of the mountain. You know, once you get up here, it's a pretty nice drive, really great view. Like, look at all those mountains. You got runners up here, you got people up here, you got cactus up here. Ugh. I'm not easily road sick, but that was another story. This lady okay. is trying to learn how to drive on these roads. That's dramatic. I don't know. I feel like it's not. What is dramatic <laughs> is this view. I mean, just look at it. All right, where's Universal? Where's Disney? Okay, Universal is here. Disney is way back behind us. So we actually, first time I did this with Leah, we came all the way up here, saw Universal, and I was like, I think we should go to the City Walk. And we drove all the way down these little, I don't know if you can see it, there's a neighborhood street right there. Drove all the way down that to the Universal City Walk. I got some gummy bears, and then she drove me back up. She is so <laughs> nice. So I guess she isn't the worst driver, but. Oh, uh, I'm not. <laughs> I wouldn't have people pay me to drive them around, but if it's a free service, <laughs> I'm your girl. <laughs> All right, and that is it from our Hollywood day. We've come into Mulholland Drive, we've seen the Walk of Fame, and we even had some of the best falafel we've ever had. This has been an amazing day, a true Hollywood experience. It's one for the books. We can add it to our list of Hollywood days that we've already had. What a day. Thanks for watching.
got bread. 